We're lucky to be here at Samsung, as they're one of the few manufacturers that makes all three key high-definition technologies. And a lot of the breakthroughs that Samsung has made in image processing crosses over to all of their products. For example, all Samsung displays include their proprietary DNIE, or Digital Natural Image Engine. This is essentially a computer that analyzes the image and dramatically improves key elements on the fly. We just explored the world of DLPs. Now, on the other end of the HDTV spectrum lives our direct view technologies, flat panel TVs like the LCD and the plasma display. Now, these are two remarkably similar technologies, and that similarity can and does cause confusion. I think the question that people ask me the most about high definition TV is which one's better, plasma or LCD? Which one should I get, plasma or LCD? It's a tough question, and it's one that really doesn't have a correct answer. Of all of the high-definition technologies, LCD is the one that we as consumers are probably the most comfortable with. After all, we've been buying LCD displays for years for our computer systems, so perhaps they seem less foreign than other technologies. If you're going to compare the plasma to the LCD, you can only look at panels that are 42 inches or larger. If you're looking below 42 inches, you're going to be looking at LCD TVs only. They're available in a much wider range of sizes than the other technologies. So for that 30-inch TV in a bedroom, LCD is the way you're going to go. Now for displays 42 inches and above, you're going to have people telling you the technical specifications and details that make one technology seem superior over the other. Well, don't listen to them. Go and look at the displays. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and both the LCD and plasma technologies are incredible. Plasma has a breathtaking range of colors and dynamic contrast. LCD images pop off the screen with a vibrance that's almost better than life. Which one do you prefer? That's the question you need to ask yourself. So go to a showroom that has similar screens side by side like I have here with Samsung's LCD and plasma displays. Look at the two screens. And if you can, watch the type of program that you care most about. If it's a sports game, watch the game on both sets. If it's movies, have them put movies on and compare. Most of you are going to have a preference, and you'll like one better than the other. Now, when I look at the two displays, I compare plasma more with watching film. The image is smooth and subtle. LCD displays remind me of digital photos. The image is bright, and it pops off the screen with fantastic detail. I, I'm not going to say which I prefer because, actually, it's private. <laughs> really, I don't want to sway your opinion. And don't let the salesman sway your opinion either. Once you have a feel for what you like, well, then go with it. And don't second-guess yourself. You're choosing amongst equals. So pick one and run with it. As far as I can tell, that is the only way to choose. Having said all that, there are a few advances in displays that you should be aware of, especially now in the plasma world. Because plasma displays have a glass screen, glare could often be an issue in environments where there was little control over light. But they've come up with FilterBright, which somehow seems to trap the light and reduce the glare. It's pretty remarkable. The other big story in the plasma world is it has joined the ranks of other high-definition displays and graduated to true HD 1080p. Ooh, it was a proud moment in the plasma household. As far as longevity is concerned, LCD and plasma screens have a similar life expectancy, which is way more hours than you or I will be watching TV over the next 20 or so years. Both displays can be wall-mounted, so it really does just come down to which one you prefer. But I know you really want me to give you a recommendation, so I've thought about it long and hard, and I've come up with a solution. Get one of each.